94 million Americans over age 20 have high cholesterol, putting them at risk for heart disease and stroke. Statin drugs are the standard treatment for reducing bad cholesterol, but some patients hesitate taking them because of side effects. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call this morning with more on managing cholesterol. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good to see you. So what exactly is cholesterol and why is it so bad? Well, cholesterol isn't inherently bad. It's actually an important part of our survival, helps build our cells, makes vitamins, and hormones in our body. Um, cholesterol is made in our liver and the remainder of cholesterol comes from the food that we eat. But there's a problem because nearly half of the Americans are, have high cholesterol. Mm -hmm. So something is not right. Now the issue is when you have too much cholesterol, it can be harmful. It circulates in the blood, deposits into blood vessels, causing blockages that lead to strokes and heart attacks. Now I want to say there's two types of cholesterol. There's bad cholesterol cholesterol, which is LDL cholesterol, which causes these blockages, but there's also a good cholesterol, which can be very protective over the cardiovascular system. And I wanted to ask you about the statins. They're, it's standard treatment, but there's such a hesitancy about them. I know. I, I think that's strange. You know, statins are the most studied, safest, and affordable drugs for cholesterol in the entire world. We have 40 million Americans on statins. They lower your bad cholesterol. They improve your good cholesterol. And the downstream effects of that is less atherosclerosis, reduced heart attack, reduced stroke, reduced peripheral vascular disease, Disease, and they can also reduce your risk of colon cancer. So they get this bad rap. Um, in terms of side effects, the most common side effect is muscle pains, but that's only about 5% of patients. So in the case of statins, the benefits really outweigh the risks. And drug therapies for cholesterol, there are several we could talk about. Well, there's two new interesting drugs that you're going to hear about, or if you've not, you've probably read about them over the past year. So the first class of drugs is bempedoic acid. Now, this is a good option for people that have muscle pains related to statins, can reduce your bad cholesterol 20 to 30 percent, not many side effects from this drug. The downside is there's no generic, so it costs hundreds of dollars a month but it is an option for people that are intolerant of statins. Another class of drugs really interesting to me are PCSK9 inhibitors. These are actually monoclonal antibodies and they target a specific protein related to cholesterol metabolism. They reduce your bad cholesterol 50%. Very little side effects because it's targeted therapy. It's just a subcutaneous injection. You get it twice a year so you don't have to take a pill every day. And my favorite part is it's completely covered by Medicare. And what about lowering cholesterol naturally? Yeah, so, you know, a lot of patients ask me about supplements, you know, taking some sort of vitamin or pill to lower their cholesterol. And my thought about supplements is that, you know, they're not FDA approved, they're not regulated, so you really don't know what you're taking. So if you're going to take a pill, you might as well just take the statin because we know it works, it's affordable, and it's safe. But regardless of if you're taking a medication or not, we need to all clean up our lifestyle. So some tips. First, avoid trans fats. Read labels. If it says partially hydrogenated, put it down because these foods will increase your bad cholesterol, lower your good cholesterol. Uh, look to um, adding soluble fiber and look to adding whey protein to your smoothie in the morning. Both of these substances can lower your bad cholesterol. Stop smoking. Just by stopping smoking for three weeks, you can increase your good cholesterol 30% and exercise, exercise, exercise. Uh, that will lower your bad cholesterol, increase your good cholesterol. Mm. Dr. Nadia Kumar, thank you so much. Such yeah. great information. Really appreciate it. And we'll be right back.